everyone. Can we guess what day it is tomorrow? Um, so happy Valentine's Day to all the people I love out there. You all know who you are. Um, and so I thought I'd prepare a little something um, as a dessert uh, for a lovely meal. So I'm just going to turn down Serge, James Borg and Jane Burke in. Um, so that we can concentrate. So I'm going to do a, a mousse au chocolat, a chocolate mousse. It's so easy. Um, traditionally, of course, as is as all my recipes, um, it was you had double cream, you used eggs. We're going to use uh, friends, uh, the alternatives, the non-dairy products. So what I've done, um, and you'll excuse me for for having skips because it, it takes a little bit of time. But um, in my bain marie, so you remember that's hot water over a bowl. I put um, a bar of chocolate. Now um, I don't know too much. I've read the backs of the chocolates just to make sure that they haven't. They, they are vegan. But I'm more interested in the ethical side because I watched something on Netflix last week that, that disturbed me a little bit about that chocolate. So if you've got any tips on that, I'd love I'd love to hear. Uh, from you so that's a whole bar of chocolate and this makes four portions um, and then I also add half a cup I've already put it in because um, I've started the process but yeah half a cup that size so that much milk you don't have to add it um, but I just think it um, that you know 70% chocolate or if you want to use 85% or 90% uh, chocolate it, it just cuts it down also because you've got that that product in with the chocolate makes it not quite as grainy sometimes the chocolate can go a little bit grainy uh, when you're making the mousse so that's melted together uh, over the pan um, with the, the milk and at this point um, I'm going to sweeten it just a little bit now you can use maple syrup you can use honey you can use whatever you like to sweeten it I'm actually just going to use a teaspoon of icing sugar just because I think it melts into the dessert really really quickly um, maple syrup is, is quite sweet very sickly and I think the whole point of this mousse au chocolat is that it's got that nice chocolate punch I don't want it to be a, 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 like a, a mousse or kinder bueno you know I want I want that rich chocolate flavour okay so then we're just going to take it off and let it cool down a bit um, and we've got our old friend here aquafaba so aquafaba you remember is the juice that um, kidney beans cannellini beans chickpeas come in and it is the same sort has the same reaction as an egg white so it's worked perfectly it doesn't smell uh, when, when you make the mousse, um, I would go for chickpeas, chickpea juice on this one, just because it is the least less smelly. But as usual, I'm just going to whisk it up. I've already started. And make sure you're using something that's really clean, because it is exactly the same as egg whites, and it won't whisk up to a peak um, if the utensil that you're using is dirty. And then I'm simply going to add oh and that's only half of the aquafaba from a from a, a just a regular tin so a regular tin of tip chickpeas um, I've only used half the aquafaba so I'm just going to put it in you know me and my cooking don't really spend a lot of time and then I'm just going to what we call fold it in okay and that is going to act exactly as a normal egg white would have acted in the original mousse. Okay. And that is your mousse au chocolat. So try just to be really, really gentle when folding in the aquafaba. Because you want to keep all those lovely air bubbles in. And then just put it into your pot. I'm just going to put it in there for a minute. But... But here's one I made earlier. So, as I 
say that makes four portions. You can do half. And then what you can do, so that's your mousse au chocolat. It's delicious, it's risen, set. Mmm. Mmm. Of course, I'm saying really rich. Taste that chocolate, can't taste any of the chickpea juice. So what I would now do is it's a nice moussey um, texture. You're gonna leave that in the fridge, by the way, for about an hour. Um, is decide on your toppings. There's loads of fruits you can use. You can do um, raspberry coulis, strawberry fruit coulis, whatever you want. Um, obviously, strawberries, chocolate's best friend. Pears would go really lovely with chocolate mousse. I'm going to melt, I'm not going to do it now because I haven't got enough time, I'm going to melt some white vegan white chocolate down, literally just on its own, and then pour it over the top when it's cooled down a bit. So that's going to set on the top of my chocolate mousse, so the dark chocolate with the mousse, lovely moussey texture, and then the white chocolate will go hard, get go hard again in the fridge. So I have to crack it open to get to my delicious mousse. Um, as I say, that's given me another idea. I can do some more um, filling, some more toppings. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you have a lovely Valentine's. Make sure you look after your loved ones.